Hello, Collective. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching and supporting. Remember to like, comment, follow, subscribe, and do everything else that supports the channel. So um, really quickly, uh, a while back, I did a reading um, on someone, a masculine, that had a choice between two women. And this was a case of like one woman coming from a more humble background, and then the other one was a little bit more socially uh, acceptable. So as far as complexion, um, and how things to look to the public. So this masculine, because this is someone that was not healed all the way and was more so into, into the superficial way of living, wanting to please other people and not really doing things that made them happy, they went ahead and married the woman that was a little bit more socially appealing, socially acceptable as far as complexion. But I did warn you that that was a gold digger and she was just after your money. And I put that video out because I knew you were watching me. Um, and that was like a warning for you, but you didn't listen. You still married that woman. You didn't have to marry the other woman that was not socially acceptable because of her complexion and her background. That was someone that came from a humble background. You didn't have to marry her, but I did tell you that the other woman was a gold digger, a Jesse Bell, and you didn't listen. You still married her. And now you're finding out the hard way that you took the wrong path. Um, the, what you are going through is an ascension, basically. So by you choosing to marry that woman, you made the statement to spirit or the universe that you were not ready for a mature relationship. You are not re mature emotionally. You are not mature mentally, and you are not mature uh, spiritually to be in a soul contract that you, uh, agree to, right? So you forfeited your end of the contract. This is why you're going through this really hard experience of a divorce, losing a lot of your assets. This is why this woman was eager to marry you because she knew that this day was coming. This is someone that's not faithful. She knew what she was getting with you. You just didn't know. Um, you're someone that's kind of, I don't, I don't even, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to leave that because you're going through enough of a hard time. I don't need to say anything else, but you're going to come out. Okay. You're just going to be starting your life over by the time this process of separation is over. You're going to be starting over basically. Okay. But you'll be okay. You'll build your life over. You'll have abundance in the future, but this is just going to be a long and educational journey for you, sir. I'm so sorry to be laughing, but it is what it is. So what we have out here is the King of Swords. Um, that's wanting to take action to kind of maybe speak the truth because this person has some type of, uh, change in his life, right? Someone has taken the high road. Think, someone is seeing things from a higher perspective. This is someone that has been surrounded by a group of people that are just extremely toxic. Um, this is someone that has been around these people for many, many years. He's not new to them. This could be family members as well. There was probably some type of collaboration behind the scenes to keep this person stuck in this mindset, in this collaboration, in this institution, because I'm seeing the Hierophant out here. It has to do with uh, uh, institutions, marriages, and things like that. I'm seeing duplicity here. So this person is stuck in an institution and he's stuck in some type of union that he is unhappy in. Um, this person, because of him making the choice to take himself out of this situation or to see things from a higher perspective and accept the message that spirit has given him, he is moving away from this. This person is deciding to take charge of their life. Um, they would like to be in a relationship with a star energy. Um, this is someone they know that they have some type of soul contract with, or they believe that they have a soul contract with. So they want to get out of this relationship with this other person in order for them to move forward. They're seeing this person as a blessing as well. They know that this person is highly spiritual. They come from two different backgrounds. As you can see, we have the Hierophant out here. This means that this masculine comes from, comes from a very religious background. Um, and this may have been something that was causing some trickery for him. Um, maybe he didn't quite understand spirituality. He had probably some type of negative uh, mindset about spirituality because people misrepresent spirituality so much that it kind of tends to scare other people away a lot of the times because of the way people because of the way certain people represent um, this aspect of life. But 
spirituality is our natural state of being right because when we are born we are born with nothing the only thing that's really there is our connection to the planet right um if you think about how people used to live back in the days even like the indigenous tribes they tend to have a stronger relationship with the planet and the rest of us that live in the city because they have a constant relationship and interaction with mother nature whereas we we're far away from that so we are out of tune and out of alignment um and those of us that are that are heavily nature love heavy nature lovers we have this need and desire to interact with nature on a regular basis including myself i have to interact with trees or something something green something earthly i have to or i feel like something is out of balance something is out of whack for me so spirituality is our natural state of being it is not something that's abnormal but because we have been program to see it in a light that's not healthy this is why people tend to stray stay away from it anyways he is seeing this person as a blessing he would like to you know have success with this woman um he's hoping to have success with, with this woman there is something this masculine is waiting for he could be waiting on a good time to take himself away from this situation or he may have already left this situation left it out in the cold um, to have a brand new passionate beginning this masculine could have gone to a high priestess or some type of counselor to get uh, professional advice. I remember doing a reading not too long ago where I told someone to go to a professional that they did not know, their family didn't know, their group of friends didn't know to get the truth about a situation. And because I'm seeing this out here, lets me know that someone did, did uh, take my advice and went to someone outside of their immediate group to find the truth that they were looking for it and it sounds like they did because of the fact that they're taking themselves out of this chaotic situation with this group of people um there is a higher priestess within an institution as well that people need to be aware of within this group this is someone that's misleading people leading people down the wrong path this masculine you are married or was married if not still married so someone who is into magic, you've been trapped to this woman for years because of magic. This is someone, if you think back over your life, right? You've been around this woman, the relationship is not healthy. You're wondering why it is that you cannot leave this woman and it is because of magic. This woman has been paying for work behind the scenes for many, many years to keep you bind to her. And this is because this woman benefits because you are showing up here as a king of wands. You are a business owner or you manage some type of business. That means that you are financially stable. This woman that's going to this high priestess more than likely does not work and she relies on you for her income. So you are a cash, cash cushion for this woman. This is why she has been binding you to her. This woman does not love you in any way, shape or form, okay? She's not even showing up on here um where like i will be able to see the queen of wands or the queen of cups or something like that for you two to match okay um she should have already showed up on this on this board or in this spread but this is not a loving relationship this is a relationship of convenience and maybe this has been brought to your attention when you went out for a reading yourself and now you are choosing to leave this behind there's an institution here as well that is into using black magic um, they may have gone up against a high priestess who is an indigo child. There was some type of ending being planned for someone, but it didn't go according to plan because it was never meant to go according to plan. This is like some type of illusion that a lot of dark workers have that they can destroy light workers and things like that. There are certain light workers that you just cannot do those type of things to. And when you make the effort to, you start experiencing blockages uh stagnation in your life and things like that and a lot of these people in this institution are experiencing just that you as this masculine showing up here as the king of swords king of wands and the uh emperor you may not know that the people around you are experiencing stagnation in their life but i'm telling you now they are because of the choices they made they may have stolen something from a high priestess here um, the woman or whoever you are interested in is an indigo child, is a high priestess, so this is someone extremely gifted. 
Um, so I don't know what the deal is with these people not using their senses. It must be that they don't have any senses, um, which is why they still feel like it's okay to come after someone like this. It's a, a side, it's a, a side uh, mission. Uh, the truth has been illuminated to you, like I mentioned earlier. You are being guided to take a different path, um, but it's up to you what you try uh, choose to do. There's a, lead, a, a spiritual leader of an organization that is aware of the things that has been going behind, going on behind the scenes as well. This person may have been shown something um, about uh, what a group of people have been up to. This person may have known for quite a while that these people were up to something, right? Yeah, you're, <clears throat> I said something about being trapped in a marriage, in a union, in an institution, and the devil's car comes out. This lets me know that there is a lot of unhealthy, toxic behaviors going in here. I just heard something about someone drinking a lot. There's a feminine energy within this institution that heavily drinks. This is someone that drinks, drives to work drunk. Like this is someone that's possibly drunk 24 seven. This is someone that yells a lot, does not have any control over her emotions and things like that. There is a masculine this woman is partnered up with that drinks a lot i'm not getting marriage it could be like some type of affair going on between these two but these two drink heavily heavily it's unhealthy like you have drunks and then whatever comes after a drunk is what these people are okay these are people that cannot cope with reality for some reason they have a hard time facing their demons and things like that so they drink just to kind of cope with their lives or with themselves because they've done quite a lot of heinous things to get to where they are in life and this is how they are able to function every day is by dumping down a lot of bottles of liquor and things like that There's this masculine whoever she's partnered with does other things as well other uh, curriculum activities not curriculum but uh recreational activities and i'm, I'm gonna leave it at that that's his business um, but there's a lot of unhealthy stuff going on here. There are people in here that lay with any and everyone. Uh, a couple in here is into like Monash twice and things like that. These are people that are hiding from their demons and things like that. I kid you not, the mask, they're hiding. They're not living in their truth, okay? These are people also going through some emotional loss and financial loss as well. There is something these people did they did not expect to come back to them, but it did. This is how life works. I don't understand how people do things and they do not expect karma to come back. Karma is part of the reason we're on this planet. We incarnate. So how dare can you think? How do you have the audacity to believe that you can do something and not experience any karma for it? Especially if you're going up against a, a star C, immediate karma. Immediate karma. Okay? Um, so when people... Choose to follow these types of people that are misleading them, like this feminine energy I'm feeling in here. You're just letting someone lead you to the slaughterhouse, physically, okay? This is like you arguing for your limitations, basically, in life. Like, you know what you're doing is wrong, but some odd reason you don't know how to say no to another human being. And not to sound um whatever... The, what I'm getting is like this is like a group of humans going up against a being that's not even from Earth. And they know this. They know this. This is like a human going up against ISIS, trying to take ISIS down. But then some of them will go and try to summon ISIS to ask her for help to attack the person that they are wanting to get rid of, not knowing that there are so many ass ISIS to get rid of ISIS, right? So that's what this is. It's really crazy. You're showing up here as the emperor. This means that you are putting, laying the law, the law down, right? You're taking charge of your life. You're walking away from toxicity. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you, people that no longer serve you. This is what you are doing. Uh, showing up here as the emperor uh, and that's a beautiful thing to do i think you are aware that this other woman is a high priestess as well 
there's something that you are just leaving behind. It's that you're taking charge of your life and not caring anymore what people think of you. Um, you can see the transition that you are going through. You're starting up here as a king of swords, king of wands, and then an emperor. You're, uh, you are progressing, my brother, basically. Okay, you are progressing. So you're leaving all of this behind to go towards the queen of wands. Okay, and this is why this three of wands is out here. You are waiting for a good time to approach this queen of wands because you want to work for, with her. You have a lot of passion for this woman. This is why this is out here. Okay, you have a lot of passion for this woman. You're finding out the truth about her. Everything these people uh, uh, were telling you were lies. You all maybe have been working together and there's going to have to be some type of apology or something like that um, before you and this woman can get together. It's a whole lot of mess going on here. My goodness. Why can't people just leave other people alone? I don't get it. Okay. Okay, so you may be experiencing some type of financial loss. And this is because of the choices you made. There was supposed to be some type of connection with this Queen of Wands and this King of Pentacles, and it's not happening because this King of Pentacles betrayed this woman. You, you are losing some finances because of choices you made. So this is karma coming back to you, okay? Yeah, you all stole something from this woman. You stole some type of inheritance, and you are experiencing this loss because of that there's a king of pentacles here in the reversal position this is someone just someone that is not even practical at this point someone is angry someone is losing their mind because they're losing a lot of finances there was a queen of wands and a king of pentacles in a reversal position right working together to bring someone an ending to block a forward movement of two people okay now you can see the the uh, 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 uh this is how i know this queen of wands never loved this king of wands you see the king of wands showed up next to the star the star uh, uh, out here and they're both in the upright right and then you have the queen of wands down here showing up next to the king of pentacles in the reversal so position why is she showing up next to him because she has something going on with him there is some type of affair that was going on and this is why okay wow so this is like this masculine's wife having some type of affair with someone else and i did mention that a woman in this institution and another man that work are working together are having an affair and this shows up this man is a king of pentacles in a reversal position he has lost quite a lot of money paying for dark magic this is someone that considers himself to be like an occultist or something and uh i think he needs to <clears throat> he needs to rethink that but someone went broke paying for magic. Okay, yeah. Someone, so there's a, this emperor, you want to give something to this star child, this uh, star sea, whatever we want to call her, um, to bring balance into a situation. Um. This King of Pentacles, because he's in the reverse, he may be needing something from you. He may be wanting to ask you for a handout for some finances. I wouldn't do that because this these were people that were setting you up to feel you didn't realize that you were working with the enemy. This is like being sleeping with the enemy, basically. Right? This is you sleeping with the enemies, trying to confuse you to make the wrong choice in life, basically trying to make you second guess yourself and you end up doing that and making the wrong choice yeah you were supposed to go within and you are going through heartbreak you are going through heartbreak and the fact that you're leaving that queen of wands she's heartbroken about that because she's losing finances it's not because she's losing you it's because she's losing finances which is why the king of pentacles is also out here in the reverse She's heartbroken because she's losing finances. You're no longer going to be able to give to this woman. You were guided to stop giving to her. That's why she's heartbroken. What a mess. 
What a mess. Someone is heartbroken because they can no longer leech off of another person. I cannot. My cars are jumping out at me. Yeah, you want to give your love offer, your financial offer to someone else, okay? Oh, this was out in the reverse position. Yeah, you're no longer in hiding. You're coming out of hiding. There's a king of cups in here that is in the reverse of position. So this is someone that is emotionally imbalanced. This person could have been wanting some type of opportunity, wanting to speak to this queen of wands that you are interested in this star child. He cannot because he did something that he was not supposed to either. It's like a whole lot of people were going up against one person and experienced a whole lot of loss unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. Someone could be blackmailing you, so you're not able to give a love offer. Is that what I'm hearing? Honey, I can't. I'll see you all in my next reading. Goodbye for now.